Today we're going to talk about opening up a second Google My Business page. This is a really popular question that um, we constantly deal with with our clients and, and always get asked by local business owners. So let's dive right into it. Uh, so first off, let, let's not overcomplicate things. Um, this can be a very simple process, but yet if you don't do it right, uh, it can turn out more complicated than it needs to. Um, so the first thing, when you're opening up a second business, um, you go to business.google.com, and I'm gonna include um, B-roll so you can see all of the steps, but you go to business.google.com, you're essentially creating a new business entity. So a lot of people are like, oh, do I need to go into the original business, and is there somewhere where I add on within that? Um, do I have to name it differently? If you're um, you know, Smith's Dental, do you then, the second location, need to name it completely differently so you don't confuse Google? Uh, Let's keep it simple, guys. The proper way to do this is you open up, treat this as a new entity. Um, so you will create a new Google My Business page as if it's a brand new business, because in theory, it is. Um, and then when you're going through and you're creating this Google My Business page, uh, you know, if you, you want to name this properly. So don't just throw a suburb name at the end, so um, you know, to try and differentiate it. You don't have to do that. Once again, I'll include an example that shows how Kenneth's Hair Salon in Columbus, Ohio, um, names you know keeps the same naming convention, which is a best practice. All right, step one: go to business.google.com. Uh, pretty straightforward. That's just the URL. Step two: you're going to add a location, and you are going to add a single location. Step three: you're going to add your business name. Pretty straightforward. You want to select your business category. You want to determine whether or not customers or clients can visit your location, um, so if they can actually come to your physical location. Uh, here you input your address, then you enter your contact information, and you complete and verify. Um, and those are the steps. So some things that you want to take into consideration when opening a second Google My Business page, uh, you want to make sure that you can get mail. Um, a lot of times to verify this, you are going to need to get a postcard, so that's very important. Um, another thing is you're going to need a different business number. Uh, so a lot of people don't think about this and they don't have a second um, phone number for their uh, other location. So the way that Google wants to see this is if you have a location in um, downtown Dallas and then you open a second location in Arlington, in theory there should be different phone numbers for each location. Um, so you need to get the mail, you need to have a different phone number. Um, you wanna have photos that represent this business. So um, if anything is ever in question, you know, it's great to have uh, pictures of the business location. Ideally, you wanna have signage um, on your door. Uh, on, on, so you wanna have outdoor signage um, that showcases your logo and your address. If you're inside of a larger building, having that indoor signage, at least you know, to the entrance of, of uh, your office will be important as well. Um, the other thing, and I created a video that was called the three week rule. Um, I always recommend opening your second Google My Business page um, three weeks prior to actually moving in. Um, I'm gonna include a uh, link, so you should see a link right here to that video that I recorded as to the reason why you should give yourself time before opening up that second Google My Business page. So hopefully this answered some of the more popular questions um, that we get when it comes to opening a second GMB page. Keep it simple, guys open up another page as a separate entity, follow these steps. Um, there are more details in the blog that I wrote on this. Go through this um, because you'll be able to uh, dot your I's, cross your T's to make sure you do it right. Thanks a lot.